Hi, Milestones friends. Happy week of the young child and happy Tasty Tuesday. I brought one of my favorite books to share with you today. And it's one of my favorites, favorites, favorites. I love it so much. I hug it because I just love this story. It's called The Giant Jam Sandwich. Maybe you remember this. I've read this for group time sometimes. One hot summer day in itching down, four million wasps flew into town. Wasps are like the cousin of a bee. They drove the picnickers away. They chased the farmer from his hay. They stung Lord Swell on his fat bald pate. That's on top of his head. They dived and hummed and buzzed and ate. And the nasty, noisy nuisance to the villagers cried, what can we do? So they called a meeting in the village hall and Mayor Muddlenut asked them all, what can we do? And they said, good question. But nobody had a good suggestion. Then Bap the baker leaped to his feet and cried, what do wasps like best to eat? Strawberry jam. Now wait a minute. If we made a giant sandwich, we could trap them in it. The gentlemen cheered. The ladies clapped and Farmer Seed said, you can use my field. Now they're getting ready to make the bread. Kind of looks like a big pile of Play-Doh, doesn't it? Bap gave instructions for the making of the dough. Here's Bap up here. Flour from above and yeast from below. Salt from the seaside water from the spout. Now thump it, thump it, bang it about. You see they're pouring all different things onto the dough. They're pouring the water, they're mixing in the yeast, they're mixing in the salt, mixing in the flour. And way back here, see if I can show that to you. Way back there it says, while they were working and working hard, some more people were making a tablecloth out in the yard. There it is. They have a green and white checked tablecloth. Ooh, look at this. <laughs> There's that big pile of dough. When they were done, the dough was left to rise until it was a mountain in shape and size. Then they hitched it up with a bit of fuss to tractors, see the tractor, cars, and even the village bus. They took it to the oven they had made on the hill, 50 cookers in an old brick mill. So they took 50 ovens like you have in your house, but they took five zero, 50 of them. And they put them in this building and turned all the ovens on, get ready. They put, oh wait, here, let me show you. They took this and they're gonna put it in here now. For hours and hours, they let it cook. It swelled inside until the window shook. It got bigger and bigger and bigger. It was piping hot when they took it out and the villagers raised a mighty shout. Isn't it crusty? Aren't we clever? But the wasps just as bad as ever. There they are chasing these men again. The loaf was left to cool. And then the people watched while six strong villagers took a mighty saw and sliced right through. Everybody clapped. And then they cut slice number two. The birds are happy with it. Here they are eating. 
And here's the wasps. So many wasps, they're checking it all out. The village bus, they all agreed, would spoil the fields of farmer seed. So eight fine horses pulled the bread to where the picnic cloth was spread. Remember they were building or sewing that big green and white checked cloth? Here it is waiting over here. They're gonna br bring those big pieces of bread and lay them on top. There it is. A truck drew up and dumped out the butter. Look at this. Here's the giant piece of bread and all that yellow stuff that's on there, that's all the butter. They have so much butter, they have to spread it out with shovels instead of knives like we use in our kitchen. They dumped out the butter and soon they spread it out with a flap and a flutter. Spoons and spades slap and slam. And then they did the same with the strawberry jam. So that's what all that red stuff is. Now they're dumping out all the strawberry jam. Wasps like strawberry jam. Yum, yum, yum. Meanwhile, high above the field, six flying machines whirred and wheeled, ready for the wasps to take the bait. And then there was nothing left to do but wait. Here's the giant sandwich right down here, missing the top. And if you can look way over here, the wasps smell it and here they come. Whoa, look at this page. Look at that, they smell it. Suddenly the sky was humming, all four million wasps were coming. They smelled that jam, they dived and struck. They ate so much that they all got stuck. And then the other slice of bread came down, her splat on top of the wasps. And that was that. There were only three that got away. And where they are now, I cannot say. But they never came back to Itching Down, which is not a waspish sort of town but a very nice place to dance and play. And that's what the vill villagers did that day. Over in the corner right here, you can see the rest of that giant loaf of bread and they're cutting off big hunks and they're giving it to the uh, villagers to eat while they have their big party and celebrate. And up here in the corner, let me see if I can show you that better. Look, there goes the sandwich in the tablecloth. And you see who's carrying it? Well, what became of the sandwich? In Itching Down, they like to tell how the birds flew off with it in their beaks and they had a feast for 100 weeks. Do you think birds would like to eat bread and jam and wasps? They sure would. Yum. <laughs> And that is the story of the giant jam sandwich. I hope you have a great tasty Tuesday.